Hello, my name is Rod Repton. I feel privileged to be invited by the Cruise Lecturers Association to become an associate in presenting presentations on cruisers. In 1999, I retired as a police officer, having served 34 years with the Derbyshire Constabulary. The majority of my service was spent in the CID, the Criminal Investigation Department, and I was uh, involved in drugs, special branch duties, regional crime squad duties, and as a uniform supervisor. I also set up the Drug Profit Confiscation Unit for the force, and I was the first Derbyshire officer to be seconded to the Central Drugs Intelligence Unit at Scotland Yard. I rose through the ranks and retired as a Detective Chief Inspector. I was also a hostage negotiator on a national and international level. I visited Canada and worked with the Royal Canadian Mounted Police in the investigation of two murders of females in the United Kingdom. I've worked with the New York City Police Department Narcotics Squad in the Bowery and learnt a lot from them in relation to the distribution of cocaine. I've also worked in Northern Italy with the Italian police. In 1999, I set up my own company, Repton Investigations, and we specialise in investigation work and drug and alcohol testing in the workplace. I like to think that the skills I learnt as a police officer are transferred into the private sector. We have a sister company in New York, again called Repton, and uh, I work quite closely with them, do a lot of inquiries in Europe on their behalf. I am a professional Toastmaster and an after dinner speaker. I like to think that I'm a practical investigator uh, as I've spent a lot of time investigating murder, as a negotiator and also on major inquiries, again on a national and international level. I've got a vast amount of material that I can draw upon in order to present to you on your cruisers. The presentations that are, I would be presenting are as follows. My first presentation is entitled A Policeman's Lot, Dixon is Dead. This would be a presentation where I would explain how I served my time as a probationary constable I then was given details of duty I performed at the investiture of Prince Charles at Carnarvon. We'll then move on to major inquiries and murders that I were involved in at that time. How I came to come onto CRD having detected a murder. We'll then move on to experience of the regional crime squad where I was seconded as a young detective to Nottingham. My time at New Scotland Yard, how I moved on from that uh, to cover the Royal Protection duties and eventually finishing with the miners' strike. This is, in my opinion, when Dixon died. The second presentation would be entitled Drugs, a Pernicious Evil. This shows the threat of drugs, especially cocaine, and how it has such an effect on the whole of society, including family, friends, and people on a wider scale. And now this is such a threat, in my opinion, at the moment. I'll then move on to, again, my time at New Scotland Yard, cases that I was involved in, and eventually finishing with a investigation where I traced the money trail of the guards captain, Captain Haywood, who was arrested in Sweden with a vast amount of drugs. My third presentation is entitled Murder in the Peak. This is a double murder that occurred, one in Derbyshire and one in Cheshire, where the suspect uh, I traced to Vancouver Island in Canada. I went over to interview him, uh, working with the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and the use of the polygraph, the lie detector, which is legal in Canada and now we invoked it in this investigation. 
uh, I will then talk about the development and use of DNA protecting the innocent. My fourth presentation is entitled Guns, Gangs and Negotiations. In this I show the use of informants leading to the use of intelligence where we trace a number of guns that have been used in a number of murders throughout the UK with deactivated weapons being reactivated. And then I'm going to talk about a negotiation that I conducted on the border with Greater Manchester with two armed dangerous criminals who'd escaped from a high security prison and how this impacted on a national scale. My fifth presentation is entitled School Duggery and Execution. In this I talk about the gallows and gibbets that have been used in executions the hand of glory and screaming schools. I talk about some historical murders and how they come forward into the present time. And then we'll talk about the execution of a train driver and Ian the Plague Village, a grisly discovery. And last but not least, I'll talk about experience within the private sector as a private investigator. In this, I'll talk about the New York office, headed by Agostino von Hassel, a member of the Prussian nobility, his background. I'll talk about how I investigated and was able to identify a boyfriend of Anne Hathaway, the actress. He was involved with the Mafia and the scandal was widely reported as the Vatican, as he was buying property from the... Uh, Catholic Church. I go on to talk about Versace, man of mystery, a man who had appeared on the rich list and I was able to identify him as a con man. I also talk about the, on a lighter side, Oink the water buffalo, I was involved with that, and Ruby the basset hound who was stolen by drug addicts. I feel that these may be of interest to you pulling on my vast experience that I have held during my time in the private and public sector. I feel that I've got something to give to you, to entertain you. Although it is a serious side, I'm not short of anecdotes and numerous tales uh, whilst I'm doing my presentations. Whilst I will give you stories of murder, mutilation and mayhem, I hope that it will not give you nightmares. I look forward to meeting you in the future.